All right, boys, welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Spirit of Justice. It is May 17th at the District Court. We're in Defendant's Lobby number three, where we are reconvening with Athena and not Daddy Nick. He's still our enemy. Uh, we're about to get, I guess, more testimony because Daddy Nick simply won't let it go that the Founder's Orb could still potentially be the Crystal of Ami Fey. I think we've disproven that since we've seen the literal Holy Mother inside of the orb, including her entire face, but I digress. We're not done here yet. He's not ready to give it up. So we're going to have to check in with him in the lobby, see if we can uh, get ourselves ready for a third round <laughs> in the courthouse with the judge. Um, those of you who are here, you're regulars, so you guys know the rules at this point. What's going to happen with this stream? Is it going to work? Is it going to crap out on me at some point? It's, it's a very solid possibility, all right? In a worst case scenario, I got my booze. <laughs> uh, let me get my hellos in order. Changeling DJ, hello. Cosmetology Corner, Tim Wiggins, Jacob Welsh, Volgan11, and Moist Veronica. Hello. How was my day? It was quite lovely, in fact. Um, nothing too particularly exciting. I do have an appointment for um, some car maintenance tomorrow morning. That I'm not looking forward to because I have to get up very early. I scheduled it way earlier than I would have liked to. But also, update on my Discover card situation. It is working again. I was a little uncomfortable not understanding what exactly was going on. I guess it was some kind of technical glitch, but you know, whenever anything comes to like banking stuff, and granted, Discover is only a credit card. It's not really like it's tied directly to my bank, but like it's still like finicky and uncomfortable to like be left in the dark and be like, hmm, what's going on with potentially sensitive information like that? But uh, I, I guess Discover has sorted it out and people's credit cards are working again. So I can charge shit again. <laughs> All right, let's get started right away, shall we? Hello, Michael. Mr. Wright sure is acting funny. I mean, he's famous for going out on a limb, but that last assertion was just plain crazy. It's either a bluff or a Hail Mary. Either way, it doesn't make much sense, though. Dogface! Hello! Maybe there's something missing here. Although, he seemed perfectly normal when we spoke earlier. Apollo! I have a bad feeling about this. I'm gonna go check up on him. Wait, no, Athena, no, you have to be on my side! Ugh. What is going on with you, Mr. Wright? Why are you working so hard for politician of all people? Hey, private justice. Oh, Sarge. I forgot to mention something. Oh, on the night of Papa's murder, a strange thing happened. Oh? But why are you only telling me about this now? Well, I didn't say anything before because I thought Papa's death was an accident. But now I know otherwise. I figured it might be important. Huh. There's still more to this case? To be fair, we haven't really fingered a criminal, have we? When I left my room and lost consciousness, I passed out here. In the balcony. That's right above the coffee bar. Mm-hmm. But when I came to... Someone was pushing my wheelchair. <gasps> oh, no. <clears throat> Where were they taking you? What? Tito TJ! Hello, welcome to the chat. I was so scared. I beat a hasty retreat as fast as my wheels could take me. Do you know who it was? No, it was pitch black. Plus, I fled to my room so fast, I didn't even have a chance to turn on the lights. Well, maybe it was your father. No! He would have said something to me. Besides, I'd have known if it was him. So, maybe it could have been... Your father's real killer! Oh my god, I bet he was trying to push you down the stairs. Hey, sweetie, we're gonna go for a little oopsie! <laughs> my thoughts exactly. But you didn't report this to the police? It didn't even occur to me. It's okay. 
You're obviously just a child, so, you know, you don't really think things through too much. So don't beat yourself up. It's just your dumb child brain. All right, that's what it is. Hey, son! This could be really important information. I don't think the act of pushing Sarge's wheelchair could be part of some bigger scheme. No, I mean, I do think that that is the case. I think that the act of pushing Sarge's wheelchair is probably part of some uh, bigger scheme here, kid. It's hard to see why else the killer would have uh, done such a thing, pal. Right. Uh, I guess I should take her statement down as evidence. Army's statement added to the court record. Uh, she fled to her room when she realized someone had moved her while she'd been unconscious on the second floor. Ugh, that just that just gives you the heebie-jeebies. Okay, good to know. Oh, welcome back, Athena. Ah, shit. She's in a bad mood. Huh? <sighs> Why the long face, girl? Are you feeling a little hoarse? Well, how did it go with Mr. Wright? What should I... Uh, Athena? No! Oh! Uh, sorry. Sound out there for a second. Recess is almost over, so let's go! <laughs> uh... Okay... What the fuck was that all about? What did he say to Athena? Oh no, it just gets worse and worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in so much trouble. Army has supersonic speeds that wheelchair. She's gotta be fast! Like, Sionic! It's May 17th, just a court. We're in the courtroom number six. Let's wrap this shit up. Alright, I've been in court for days now. It's about goddamn time I get my client off the hook. The Right Anything Agency really depends on it. Although, to be fair, if Mr. Right does win, we get paid. So... I shouldn't think about it too much. All right, court is once again back in session. Right, yeah, let's focus. Now, uh, uh, Mr. Wright, how about that last objection you raised? We the plaintiffs still believe that the defense has yet to sufficiently prove its case. They claim that according to legend, the Founder's Orb would bestow spiritual power. Yet, the relic in question has failed to do so, and therefore, it has failed its own test. Uh, I see. He's sticking with that ridiculous argument. Furthermore, even if it is the Founder's Orb, it can't be awarded to the Defiant Dragons. After all, they were the ones who killed Dr. Buck. They? They? What are you talking about? That was already proven to be false. There are no grounds for asserting that the Defiant Dragons murdered the Doctor. Oh, but I'm afraid there are, Mr. Justice. Your Honor, I would like to present new testimony to this court. Testimony that will show that Datsa Rayball did in fact kill Dr. Buff. What? Very well, you may call your witness, Mr. Wright. I guess Mr. Wright found another new angle. What new testimony could there be this late in the game? Yeah, what testimony could there be? Oh, fuck off! Objection! I don't want to deal with this man unless he's showing up on Fraternity X. Fellow citizens, it is I, politician, the one and future representative of the people. Oh, Lord, kill me now. Not this clown again. My client divulged new information to me during the recess. He remembered something he saw, you see. Something crucial to this case. Oh, isn't that very convenient. <laughs> oh, very con- yeah. <laughs> Alright, listen, when I'm not in Daddy Nick's brain, me and Apollo, we share a brain. Alright, I connect with all of the men. And sometimes Athena. Yabuki, yeah, I enter and the first thing I hear on this stream is Fraternity X. That was the name of the kickball team that I played on one time, then never again. Then they went on to win the championships on a gay kickball team league. And they did not vote for me for MVP, go figure. <laughs> That's his crime, alright. Lie to me sweetly, boy. It was around 11 at night, and I was out on a mobile meet and greet around the village. 
That's when I saw Dr. Puff being murdered from outside his study window. Mr. Rayball snuck up from behind and struck him on the head. Whoa, objection! He's now claiming that he witnessed the entire murder? That's not something somebody forgets to mention. This dude's been on the witness stand for so long, I've cross-examined him at least three or four times. This is coming out of nowhere! What an out-of-pocket thing to say. Your Honor, this is a kangaroo court if you allow this to happen. His weapon of choice was a suitcase. A big, strong man like him could easily swing around a heavy suitcase into someone's head. Well, that is not correct. No, the suitcase didn't have blood on it or any evidence. He was hit with a book. Wait. Wait, that doesn't make sense. But I mean, the blood was on the book. Huh. I have questions. We'll, we'll pick at that. That's sussy, at the very least. You saw the murder as it happened, and you're just telling us this now? Why? <laughs> I saved the best for last. It's a tactic known by all political greats. The murder weapon was a complete mystery, but my client's witness account has finally brought it into the light. According to the autopsy report, Dr. Buff was struck in the head by the corner of some object. And I suppose that could very well be the corner of a suitcase. Well, has the suitcase been examined for that? Emma, get some of your, uh, luminol Objection. liquid out here. Yeah, thank you. But eyewitness testimony isn't the same as hard evidence. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that if I were you. Oh, fuck. What's that supposed to mean? We have physical evidence, too. A luminol test revealed- Oh, I forgot Emma's on his side! Shisa. The doctor's blood was on Mr. Arabal's suitcase. Oh, really? Huh. Well. I was not made aware of this fact. But- how does that prove that Mr. O'Rabel is the one who used it as a weapon? You should know the answer to that, Mr. Justice. It's, it's his suitcase. Since you know as well as I do that the suitcase is covered in his fingerprints. Fuck! I do know that! I forgot we dusted it right in front of Emma, right when the stream crashed. It was something I had to do off screen and it took me an eternity to find- We've been over this. It was on the sticker, the stick- Also, yeah, first of all, Phoenix Wright. You're gonna tell me his fingerprints were all over that suitcase? I can personally attest to you that they were not all over that suitcase. They were in one very specific and very obscure spot on that suitcase. So I want to object to that. Also, hello Hunter Cross, welcome to the chat. Frankie, did you hear that? The rebel's a rebel! Oh, babe, this guy's really quite the criminal. The turnabout terror strikes again. Hmm. This is quite convincing testimony and evidence, I must say. Nevertheless, you may proceed with your cross-examination, Mr. Justice. Thank you, Your Honor. Alright. Don't go easy on this fool. Death's is crime. We're gonna press everything like my life depends on it. Alright. 11 o'clock at night, you say. You were on a so-called mobile meet-and-greet at 11 o'clock at night? That's right. It's the perfect time because everyone's at home. Yeah, but they're all asleep. Everyone is also home at, like, 6 o'clock at night. You should have seen how the villagers' eyes teared up when they heard what I had to say. Yeah, they were probably wiping the crust out of their eyes. With tears of frustration, no doubt. Josh Scott, hello, welcome to the chat. You weren't riding around in your palakin? Palak- Palak- Fuck. You know what word came so easily to me? The prognosticus from Super Paper Mario. I can say that, but for the life of me, I can't say fucking palankine. Palan- Palankin! Palanquin! Palanquin! Uh, 
Can I pause? I have a solution to this problem. Let's hear it pronounced. Pronun oh, wait, wait, wait. Palanquin. 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 <laughs> okay, I figured it out. No problems, boys. Palanquin. 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 You weren't riding around in your palanquin? That's right. Some village idiot reported me to the police. Oh. I've been banned from using it after dark. No wonder. What with all that noise that he makes? So, what exactly did you see then? That's when he saw Dr. Buff being murdered from outside his study window. Okay, that's quite a statement you're making. Sounds like you witnessed something rather shocking. Indeed, I didn't even believe it at first. I mean, a vicious murder in Crane. There haven't been many murders there, I take it. Well... Funnily enough, I think it was a doctor that was murdered in Karain last time. I think his name was Dr. Gray. I remember him being handsome, and he was gone way too soon. If I'm elected, I promise you that such a terrible tragedy will never happen again. A vote for me is a vote to banish murder forever from our beloved Kurain village. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Mr. Attition Wimperson, please tell the court what you saw at the scene of the crime. Uh, Mr. Raybell snuck up from behind and struck him on the head. He snuck up from behind, eh? So you're saying the doctor never even realized Mr. Arrayball was there? That's right! He was utterly absorbed in a book. I see. What did you see Mr. Arrayball do next? He climbed the bookshelf ladder and dumped a bunch of books down on the body. I believe he was trying to make it look like an accident. But that idiot didn't realize I could see everything from outside the window. One of those statements doesn't feel right. Your Honor, I believe the witness made an important statement just now about how... The crime was clearly visible. The doctor was reading about dads as an idiot. <laughs> um... Crime was clearly visible. The doctor was reading a book. The doctor was reading a book, I think. Because the book he was reading, I think, was the book that was out of place from everything else. So maybe it's the visibility, because this was on the second floor? I think that might be the one. The crime was clearly visible. If the crime was visible through the window, that's earth-shattering testimony. Hmm, is it? Because to my ears, it uh, sounds like a rather obvious fact. Oh. Sorry, I'm good that- Oh, wait, what? Well, very well. Will the witness please continue with this testimony? Oh, fuck. I- I- I-, I That was not correct. Shit. No, ba- Sorry, back it up. We're not done here. <laughs> Snung up from behind, did he? Alright, let's recircle through this thread of logic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. One of these statements doesn't seem correct. Your Honor, I believe the statement is that the doctor was reading a book. The doctor was reading a book at the time of the murder? That's vital testimony. Very well, will the witness please add that to his testimony? Okay, good, we're getting somewhere. 
All right. The doctor was standing in front of the bookshelves, absorbed in a book. Hold it! Press that. You watched a murderer commit his crime and did nothing to stop it? That doesn't sound like a good way to score points with the voting public. I'm a politician, not a superhero. Oh right, I forgot your job is to do nothing and then collect a big fat paycheck. And then convince people that we need you. <laughs> I'm under no obligation to risk life and limb. He sure is quick to deny his obligations when there's nothing in it for him. Yeah, no kidding. You know, I'm getting tired of listening to his endless campaigning and flimsy rationalizations. About your testimony, Mr. Atitian Wimperson. You said Mr. Arayball struck the doctor from behind while he was absorbed in a book. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Okay. So I'm gonna choice two case. Standing in front of the bookshelves absorbed. Does it have to do with maybe his reading glasses? Poor eyesight meant he couldn't read anything without these and they were found on his desk. I'm guessing that's it actually. Objection! Yeah, that seems pretty obvious. The doctor was standing in front of the bookshelves absorbed in a book, you say. I'm sorry, but it seems your testimony is completely unreliable. That's quite a bold statement. Let's hear you back it up. I challenge you to prove that I am anything but 100% reliable. Oh, it would be my pleasure, honestly. Lately, it seems the doctor's eyes had gotten so bad that he needed reading glasses. However, his reading glasses were over on his desk. So you see, there's no way he could have been reading in front of the bookshelves. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Attitian Wimperson, but I'm going to have to ask you to explain this discrepancy to the voting public. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, yeah. I... I... You what, Mr. Attitian Wimperson? I'll explain it, you lolly cur. I simply made a mistake, you see. The doctor was actually sitting at his desk when Mr. Rabel hit him over the head. Objection! That changes his entire position. He would have been facing away from the wall. How could he have been snuck up upon and get hit on the back of the head? But then the doctor surely would have been facing him. He would have seen him and tried to run, no? D -d -d doctor Buff was nodding off. I can relate as someone who does suffer from narcolepsy, and I think this line of questioning is a form of discrimination from the people who can't seem to stay awake. And I can tell all of this because its eyes were closed. Sounds more like you what you would do. You narcoleptic fuck. <laughs> then how do you explain the fact that he was struck in the back of the head? Isn't that something that should be impossible from the front of the desk? Well, um, about that. He, he, he bowed his head when he nodded off, and that's when he was clobbered. Hmm. Fiction of Grandeur, hello on the Starlight Princess YouTube. Oh, so that's what you saw. Well, Mr. Justice, that sounds like a perfectly reasonable explanation to me. Do you have a problem with the proposal that the doctor was struck while nodding off? I probably do. Give me a second to bluff my way through it and I'll figure it out. And there is a problem. A very big problem. The witness's statement doesn't hold up under the slightest bit of scrutiny. Is that so? Then will you please show this court what evidence you have to justify this? Y gladly, your honor. What was it again? <laughs> This shows the problem with the witness's claim that he saw the doctor nodding off. Um... Well, you see... He couldn't have seen the doctor- Oh, wait, wait, it's probably something to do with the line of vision, right? Yeah, privacy, the bookshelf covered the seat at the desk. Take that! Ha <laughs> ha! diagram of the study. Mr. Atitian Wimperson allegedly viewed the murder victim from 
here. And the doctor was allegedly nodding off. Here. Do you see a problem with these things? But from his vantage point, the bookcase would have blocked the witness's line of sight. Huh. Ah, oh, yes, I believe you're right. But, 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 uh... Objection! Yeah. Try. Oh, fuck. I thought that was my objection. The fact remains, my client knew that the suitcase was the murder weapon. So he definitely has first-hand knowledge of the crime scene. Uh, uh... Hey, Daddy Nick. Between you and me, I think you just fingered your client as the criminal. Oh my god. And you didn't even give him some lube first. I, I absolutely agree with you there, Mr. Wright. But then we have to ask ourselves. From what vantage point did he see the murder? Yeah, here it comes! What are you insinuating, Mr. Justice? Oh, Daddy Nick, you're slipping. You should have been able to see this from a mile away. From what vantage point could Mr. Titian Wimperson have seen the doctor dozing off? Once we've determined that, I believe we'll finally see the truth behind this incident. The witness saw the murder from right here. Doodle doo I think he was in front of the witness's desk. Take that! I mean the victim's desk. You've got to be kidding! It is indeed. But everything only makes sense if the witness was already in the study. Inside the study? But that's the scene of the crime! Yeah, I know. I'm trying to paint a very clear picture here, Athena. Mr. Attitian Wimperson, the man who claims to be a witness to the murder, was most certainly in that very room. Uh, uh, Apollo! Are you suggesting? I'm suggesting as clear as day. Mr. Attitian Wimperson! Weren't you the one who actually swung that suitcase? Objection! <laughs> what, what do you, what do you gotta say? What you're proposing is ludicrous. My client is a small, thin man, whereas Mr. Rayball has the musculature to pull it off. Oh, oh, musculature, you say? Daddy Nick. You think he's strong enough to lift that bag? Also, did you just call your client a twink? He has a point. I gave up trying to lift that thing after one go, and Mr. Attitian Wimperson is built like a twig. That's right. He's the only one who could have lifted such a heavy object with his big muscular lats. Now do you understand? The Rebel Dats is the real doctor's killer. Hmm. As long as the suitcase is the murder weapon, the suspicion does fall entirely on Dats. You're gonna have to poke a hole in Mr. Wright's argument somehow, Apollo. Oh, I will. Don't you worry. And with his own technique, no less. If Mr. Attitian Wimperson couldn't swing the suitcase around, we'll just have to consider the, another way that he could have used it as a murder weapon instead. I'm gonna turn it around, just like Mr. Wright taught me. Oh shit, taking the teacher's lessons and throwing it back in their face. All right, Apollo, turn this case around. You talk big, Mr. Justice, but do you have what it takes? Oh my god, I love it. Huh, <sighs> wow. Oh, this should be interesting. Mr. Attitian Wimperson's testimony has been filled with one inaccuracy after another. First, he stated that Dr. Buff was in front of the bookshelves. Now he claims the doctor was sitting at his desk. So where was the victim really when he was killed? Also, where was his killer? And how was the murder weapon really used? So the important thing here is the position of the victim and the killer relative to each other. Exactly, Your Honor. If they were positioned in a certain way, it would be possible to use the suitcase as a weapon without lifting a finger. You can't mean. I would ask the court to recall the study's layout. It's quite distinctive, as you can see. Now, if Dr. Buff were sitting in a certain spot, and his killer were at a certain other spot, the balcony! The suitcase would become a weapon that anyone could use. That's it, boys. Hmm, very well, Mr. Justice. Where was Dr. Buff's killer at the time of the crime? 
So if Dr. Buff was actually sitting at the coffee bar because there was coffee on the book, of course there was, that means that he was standing Take above that. the coffee bar. <laughs> oh, that's... This should wrap things up nice and pretty for you, Mr. Wright. I would ask the court to recall the study's layout. But this time, instead of thinking in two dimensions, let's think in three dimensions. Activate the 3DS's 3D capabilities. Only then can we clearly see the killer's method at work. Whoa. Oh, wow. Talk about an impressive diorama. It's a shame that my 3DS screen is so dirty, I should clean it. <laughs> the killer didn't have to swing the suitcase. If he used the gravity to his advantage, that is. Oh, doodly do, huh? That's a real big suitcase. If only I. Oopsie! Knocked it off the platform and it went right down into the body. Mr. Edition Wimperson pushed it from the second floor. Oops! <laughs> and sent it hurtling down onto Dr. Buff, who was sitting at the coffee bar. God, this beast fucking slaps. Yeah, get wrecked. The psychology book had been at the coffee bar, no doubt. The doctor must have set it down there after he'd finished reading it or the like. But his blood got on it, which is why the killer thought to hide it among the mountain of books. Attention! That's quite an entertaining theory you have there, Mr. Justice. But there's no evidence that the murder took place at the coffee bar. Hmm, is that true? I'm not so sure about that, Mr. Wright. I'd say that evidence of the murder occurring at the coffee bar... ...exists. It's because the coffee was spilled on the book. It's because of the coffee stain. The evidence does exist, and I'm going to show you. Oh, you are? Oh, I absolutely am. Look, it's, they're even giving me the photo. All I have to do is point on it. Right? Take that. that! Take it. This brown stain was determined to be coffee. What's more, it was still a bit damp when we saw it yesterday morning. Ugh! One look at this speaks volumes, I'm afraid, Mr. Wright. Liquid volumes. Volumes of what? Of coffee. 500 milliliters. It tells us the doctor was having a cup of coffee at the coffee bar. That's when the suitcase came hurtling down, striking him on the head. Causing both his blood and his coffee to spatter onto the ground. And the book. Yeah. Well, Mr. Artition Whipperson? Yeah, what you gotta say, boy? What, what motive could I possibly add to have killed Dr. Buff? And there it is. That final excuse cornered killers are so fond of. Well, the doctor never returned your crystal to you, did he, to you? Instead, he hid it in the Cave of Ruins. Ugh. Telling him that the Defiant Dragons were a dangerous bunch was a huge blunder. All it did was make him hide the orb. Your lie came back to bite you in the ass. Um... Ugh. Even worse, the doctor saw the news reports, so he knew the relic was the Founder's Orb. Being the conscientious researcher that he was, he knew he had to return it to its rightful place. And that meant keeping it out of your hands. <laughs> you were so angry that he refused to return the relic to you... ...that you killed him with your own hands! Isn't that right, Mr. Artitian Wimperson? No, I killed him with the suitcase. I mean, I plead the fifth. Frankie, was that a confession? I don't know, babe. We gotta wait to see what the judge says. I... I... Th Hold it. That is... Oh... Ugh, Daddy Nick, what now? A apollo Don't! Please, don't accuse my client of murder! I beg your pardon, what? Huh? What do you mean, don't accuse him? Why would you even say that, Mr. Wright? Uh, um, w w what I meant was, uh, he's a promising politician. With a bright future ahead of him. 
It's in our nation's best interest to avoid burdening him with the taint of scandal. Oh, I'm gonna give him nothing but taint. Say what? No, he's, he's, he's got something over Nick. Right! You better do something to change the current courtroom climate. Or I'll be charged with murder. And you know what will happen to her. Oh no! <gasps> They've got Maya? Oh my god, my sweet damsel in distress. This always happens. It's not even the first time that Daddy Nick's been extorted by one of his clients because Maya's been kidnapped. Oh my god, it was sitting right in front of my face. <gasps> <clears throat> Well, this is a hairy situation that we're in now. Because last time that this happened, I was Daddy Nick. So I was able to delay the trial. But this time, I'm the opposing team. If I win this trial, are they going to kill Maya? Wait, I... Oh, no. What's about to happen? <clears throat> oh, it all makes so much sense now. What's he talking about? I can ponder that later. For now! No, Apollo, Apollo, you have to stop! Mr. Wright, you can't possibly believe that Mr. Arrayball's the killer. Are you really gonna send an innocent man to prison? I thought you were better than that. Oh, God, oh, oh, conflict. Ooh, yikes. Um, well, Mr. Wright, answer me! Apollo, it's time to, like, you know, pause. <laughs> To be fair, Daddy Nick, you should have let Apollo in on what was going on. We could have stalled the trial again. We could have we could have done an exact repeat of what we did in the Shady Smith, not Shady Smith. Um, shit, what was his name? D Shelly the Killer case. Um, no, oh no, not the head down on the desk. Oh, it's the face of defeat. And we don't like feet on the live stream. Oh. Mr. Wright? What in the world's going on here? So, is Maya here in the States then? If you won't say anything, then. Mr. Attition Wimperson, the defense hereby accuses. Oh, yeah, Athena! Athena knows! Apollo, wait! I had a talk with Mr. Wright. Ah, oh, not you too, Athena. Um, it's just, um, I wasn't sure whether I should say anything, but during that last recess, when I went to check on Mr. Wright, oh, why are we whispering again? Because Apollo, I overheard something that I shouldn't have. I trust Maya is unharmed. I can't really say. But just remember, if I'm arrested or fail to obtain the treasure, there will be consequences. Consequences of the worst kind, if you catch my drift. Ugh. Relax. All you have to do is ensure I get my hands on that relic. I must deliver it to my benefactor at all costs. Who's the benefactor? What do they want that relic for anyway? <laughs> it's something to do with an old legend. My patron seeks great power said to be granted to whoever solves its secret. Yeah, but it didn't work. Right? Apollo's not a spirit medium, or is he? Maya? As in Maya Faye? Yeah, the boss's legendary former assistant. Oh my god, she's been upgraded to legendary status. Miss Faye's being held hostage? And that's the way it seems, yeah. Well, why didn't you tell me that as soon as you heard this? Sorry, it's just... Mr. Wright spotted me before I could slip away, and he made me promise not to tell you. He said it would make things more difficult if you found out. Oh my god, as if things weren't already bad enough. So that's why Mr. Wright was acting so strange. Oh, oh god, oh god. 
Oh, I hate seeing him like this. I love him too much. I had no idea. This had to have been excruciating for him. Think justice. No, there's gotta be something I can do. Stall. Stall like your life depends upon it. Oh, shit. Mr. Justice, how about that last statement of yours? I believe you were in the middle of accusing the plaintiff of murdering Dr. Both. What do you care to continue? Uh, uh, um, I... I... Um... Uh, I'm sorry, Apollo. I'm so sorry. Jeez, what has gotten into you two? Uh... If I accuse that slime bag, I put Miss Faye's life in jeopardy? <laughs> it seems you finally caught on. I am far too important to be accused of murder. After all, our nation's future rests squarely on my shoulders. Uh, either I give up, or... Oh, oh god, he's so unlikable. Once I present the crystal to my patron, my victory is assured. Then one day I'll become president, and then probably a king. Wow, re re ready to overthrow democracy, I see. I'll have every politician at my command. Now retract your accusation. I, I, but I, huh, I'm facing so much internal conflict right now. The defense would... It would like to retract its previous... Oh, shit. Dad? Sorry. Daddy? What? Oh. Uh, hi. What are you... At? Apollo! D dirk I don't know what's going on here. But a lawyer should never look the way you do right now. With defeat and resignation written all over your face, son. Uh, I don't know if now's the best time for this conversation. <laughs> no! A dragon, a dragon never, yields. never yields. A dragon never yields. But, Dirk, this is about Maya. Even when wounded, a dragon bites down hard and never lets go until it's dying breath, son. But, Dad, it's about Maya. It glares, it roars, and it latches its jaw firmly onto its prey till the bitter end. That's what the lawyers do to get the truth. But, Dad, it's Maya. <laughs> Dirk, a dragon never yields? He's right, I think. It's all over if I give up now. If Mr. Wright's hands are tied, it's up to me to do what must be done. He has saved my neck so many times. Now it's my turn to save his. Dirk! Thanks for the wake-up call. Huh. Now that's a face of a lawyer you got to their son. Where there's a will, there's a way. And I'm gonna find the way to save Miss Faye and see that justice is served. Oh, that's a tall order, my guy. What, what's our plan? Oh, we're gonna have a brain blast to figure out our plan. No shit! <gasps> Guys, we've made it to the end, I feel. That scumbag is holding Miss Faye hostage to ensure he gets the orb for his patron. And it seems his patron believes in the orb's legend, right? Thing is... The Founder did appear when the orb was exposed to fire, just like the legend said it did. It would. If the legend is true, then we've already solved the riddle, right? We've already solved the riddle... No. So, the whole point of the riddle is... Once, once you solve the riddle of the orb, you, you, you offer thy prayers, right? You light it on fire, the Holy Mother will return, and the greatest power will be bestowed. What if we didn't... Hear me out. What if we didn't finish? Because what was revealed? The Holy Mother's face. 
It was a lay gasp moment, and thank God we were in Japanifornia, because that was a very sacrilege thing we did. But, the, the a whole concept on this game is like, Oh, I'm Maya Fey, and I'm a spirit medium, and you can channel a spirit if you know their face and their name. So what if that object holding the face of the Holy Mother was the key to being able to channel the Holy Mother? And so then, like, a spirit medium would call the Holy Mother back? Like, what if you haven't finished the job? What if you actually have to legit call her back using the knowledge of her face? Is what I'm saying making sense? Let's follow our logic and see where it goes. We haven't solved the riddle yet. The legend says the Founder will bestow great spiritual power when she returns. But if that's true, it means that we haven't solved the whole riddle yet. Right, okay, that, we're, we're on the same logic train. But how can that be? Are we missing something? Wait, maybe... Maybe the part about the Founder returning should be taken literally. Wait, what do you mean? But how would it po Oh, right, 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 channel- Yeah, 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 it, it's exactly what I think. We have to channel the Holy Mother. Oh, man, we're gonna need Maya back here. The Founder can return through channeling. Okay. That's it! There is a way for the dead to return. Spirit channeling! Of course! You'd have to know what the Founder looks like first. But the orb has revealed her face to us. So what if it's a sign that we should channel her? Given the facts, in order to solve the riddle and receive the Founder's power, I'd need... <laughs> I'd need to practice and become a spirit medium. Or we could just get one, because we do have access to one of those, but she's kidnapped at the moment. Huh. A medium is needed to obtain the power. Oh my god, Maya's gonna become such a girl boss bitch if we rescue her from her next kidnapping. Oh man, she's like Princess Peach all of a sudden. The ability of a medium to channel spirits is the final key to unlocking the orb's secret. That means Mr. Retician Wimperson's patron will need one too. <gasps> and he has one because he has Maya! Oh, I'm so stupid. They already have the spirit medium, but we have the orb. Oh my god, there's a name for this. Where two people have the thing that the other person needs. Ah. Uh, I don't know what it's called. But but it, we're at a standoff here. We're at a stalemate of some kind. But it, but it also means he won't lay a finger on Miss Faye because he needs her alive. <gasps> That's good. Mr. Wright! Everything's gonna be okay. Because Mr. Politician Wimperson can't afford to harm a hair on Miss Faye's head. Right. She needs to be alive to channel spirits. Huh? Mr. Etitian Wimperson! It seems you've chosen the wrong person to take hostage. What do you mean? Your patron seeks to solve the orb's riddle. And thereby receive great spiritual power. However, only Maya Fey can truly give them what they really want. She can. What do you mean? Only Maya Fey. Think about what the return of the Founder really means. We should have considered it more literally. After all, the orb was made in the Kingdom of Kurain, the birthplace of spirit mediums. Ah, I think I see now. You need to know what the deceased looks like in order to channel them. Right. Um, George, you should know this. You're a biologist. Symbiosis. Why are we talking about symbiosis? What are we talking about? <laughs> but, in Kurainism, depicting the face of the Founder is a taboo. However, her true face was hidden in the orb. So maybe the orb is telling us to try channeling the Founder. Exactly! Through a spirit medium, the Founder can quite literally return. And if the legend is true, the Founder just might bestow spiritual power on someone when she does. It's like when Pearls imb imbued my maga to my... It's, it's like when Pearls gave me a rock and filled it with spiritual power. If a human could be imbued with such power in a similar manner... It is said the Founder possesses immense spiritual power. 
Such a great feat would not necessarily be beyond her. Uh, oh, wait a second! That's, then the legend is true! Do you understand now, Mr. Atitian Wimperson? Oh, a symbiotic relationship and two things. Oh, so... Yes, in the field of biology, when two organisms depend on one another, I was talking more colloquially, though. I think there's... I feel like there's a terminology to describe when, like, two people, like, have an object that the other person needs. Maybe it's just a famous storyline that I'm remembering. I don't know. But yes, uh, symbiotic relationships do exist in the field of biology. It's like Nemo and his sea anemone 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 anemone. Do you understand now, Mr. Titian Wimperson? You are holding hostage the final key to unlocking the orb's secret. And if anything were to happen to her, the riddle would remain unsolved forever. Yeah. Hold it. Th 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 there's always Pearl Fay. I could simply ask her to help. If she wants money, I have plenty to offer her. Sorry, Pearls isn't the kind of person to be tempted by material gain. And she certainly wouldn't help you if anything were to happen to her cousin. True, facts, yeah, she loves Maya. Or maybe you'd like to go ask the Queen of Kurain to channel the founder for you. <laughs> uh, tall order, but honestly, she might be about it. He could, but he'd probably get executed for requesting such a thing. Oh, I guess he, she wouldn't be about it. It's over! Now confess! You killed Dr. Buff, didn't you? It wasn't supposed to end this way. Mr. Attention Whipperson, are you admitting to the crime? I... Uh, uh, I'm, you're my lawyer, right? Do something! It's true that I'm your lawyer, and as such, it's my job to defend you. However, defending my clients isn't the only duty a lawyer has. There's something else that's equally as important. The truth. And that is finding the truth. Me and my old boyfriend Edgeworth used to do it all the time. What? Mr. Atitian Wimperson, you have sought to twist the truth in the dirtiest of ways. I was complicit in your hostage taking, but in a way, I was being held hostage too. Even so, there's still hope for me to make things right. And I owe it all to you, Apollo. God, who knew that Apollo had two dads just like Trucy? Mr. Wright! I can't allow a murderer to walk away scot-free. Therefore, Mr. Attition Wimperson, I must resign as your attorney. <gasps> oh, it's so great, but oh my god, we're not gonna get paid anymore. I mean, I, I wonder if payment was ever gonna be involved since he had Maya in his pocket. So, what I'm gathering is that we have not made money once this entire game. Wait! Athena might have made us money with her client, the soba shop guy. Okay, Athena, the new breadwinner of the Right Anything Agency. Okay. No, no, no. D -d 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 Does this mean I'm under arrest? No, I object to being put under arrest. I am politician. He's so shifty-eyed. Still working on that nameplate. <laughs> we'll nod at it. Yeah, yeah, that's better. We put some tape on it. Well, I have nothing to confess. What? I said I have nothing to confess. I don't, and I won't, especially to a plebe like you. This guy doesn't know when to give up. Look, sir, we've been here for hours. Can we call it a night? Besides, there's no truth to these allegations. I mean, look at the suitcase. You won't find a single print of mine on it. Yeah, because it was on the second floor. You literally could have, like, taken your foot and done a little... Yeet! Oh, not my tiny-ass cab and my little-ass pajamas, but you get my point. 
All that means is you wiped them off. Oh yeah, you could have also done that too. <laughs> <laughs> as many a great politician has said before me. No comment. In that case, try switching things up, Apollo. Look at the suitcase from a different angle. Is there really nothing that points to the suitcase being dropped from above? Hmm. Evidence that points to the suitcase being dropped from the second floor. Hmm. If the killer pushed the suitcase from the second floor hallway over the coffee bar... He would have been on the balcony, right? They would have placed him right around here, which means... If he's our real killer... He is the one who moved, uh... Sarge. And if he moved Sarge... He touched her wheelchair, so maybe the prints are on her wheelchair and that's where we'll find them. Maybe. Just maybe I've figured it out. Thought of something, Apollo? I believe this piece of evidence to be connected to the dropping of the suitcase. Uh-oh. This piece of evidence to be connected to the dropping of the suitcase. Oh, her, she gave us a statement, I forgot. Take that! Okay, perfect, we've got her statement. That appears to be a statement. But how is that related to the case? On the night of the murder, Your Honor, Miss Army Buff physically left her room. That's when she saw the doctor burning the orb and subsequently passed out. Right above the coffee bar, no less. But, with her in the, the, in the way in her wheelchair... The killer wouldn't have been able to drop the suitcase down onto the doctor. Good point, Apollo. However, according to Sarge, she woke up just as someone was trying to move her in her wheelchair. Ah. Someone was pushing my wheelchair. What? I was so scared. I beat a hasty retreat as fast as my wheels could take me. She must have been in the killer's way, and had to be moved. Isn't that right, Mr. Etician Wimperson? <laughs> and if the killer had pushed the wheelchair with his bare hands, we may yet find the conclusive evidence we need. Exactly! Fortunately for us, that evidence slipped right through the killer's fingers. If only he'd been able to hold on to it just a little tighter, and push her down the stairs. But now he's neither able to do discord nor alter it. He's, ni he's neither able to discard nor alter it. I can read. I also have a discord. It's linked below. <laughs> Honestly, that piece of evidence wasn't even supposed to be here in this courtroom today. And yet, it looks like sometimes things do get better. But this wasn't supposed to happen. No? Well, too bad! Because the evidence that sped away from you last night has come back to haunt you right here at this very trial! Your Honor, the defense's final piece of evidence is on this person! Athena Sykes! Probe her, Your Honor! Um. Uh, 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 army. That's. On the night of the murder, Sarge passed out. This was something that happened. Yes, I concur. Whoops, sorry. Only to come and find that someone was pushing her wheelchair. And yes, Army is French now. Don't question why. And that's when she fled back to her room. She didn't physically see a single soul after that. Not until Athena drew her out through that therapy session, that is. That is Athena's specialty. Dun, 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 dun. Well, the killer was able to wipe the prints on the suitcase. The same can't be said for the prints that got away. My fellow Kurainia, Kurain, Kurainia, my fellow citizens of Kurain. Well, Mr. Politician Wimperson, try to explain your way out of this one. The podium is all yours, and this is my finger. My finger is going in you as the criminal. Well, 
Facebook. P -p Politician, savior of Kurain. I am not a crook. My political career, it's not gonna end like this. I was designed for greatness. Something is wrong here. It's a dream no more. Wait, who are you people? Oh God, whoa, election results. <gasps> he won! What? No way! Panza! I am the breaking news. Politician arrested on merger charges and stripped of his electoral win. Oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 you can't do that. Wait, wait, no, 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 please, oh, oh. Oh my, oh, holy fuck. Grandpa! Hey, Athena, I think Mr. Attition Wimperson needs some therapy. Oh, there goes the name placard. M -m 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 Mr. Attention Wimperson! Are you alright? Bailiff! Bail bail uh, get him to the first aid station! On the double! And get me a double double while you're at it! Well, this was yet another unexpected turn of events. In light of everything that's been revealed, it seems the relic is indeed the Founder's Orb. And it seems that Mr. Politician Wimperson can be considered a suspect in Dr. Buff's murder. Apollo, I want to thank you for everything. Aww. Thanks to you, I didn't have to keep bending the truth. I don't know what I would have done without you. Aww. Yeah, don't mention it. Nick? You were amazing today, Apollo! Well, I couldn't have done it without dirt. Aww. Damn, we're having such good daddy vibes today. A dragon never yields. Yes, Dad. Yes. Oh. God, Apollo, look at where you get your jawline from. Yep, yep, alright. He's a, he's a very passionate man that's sexy and... Yep, that's what lawyers do. A dragon never yields. Every lawyer should take that to heart. I kind of prefer they smile at the toughest of times. <laughs> As it seems, both sides have no further objections. Would Dirk Sadamati please take the stand? Wow, way to just appear out of thin air. <laughs> This court awards the Orb of the Defiant Dragons per the Stated Transfer Agreement. Oh my god, we got a... Not exactly a not guilty, but we got it. We got an orb, and we still got confetti, and I will take it. And everybody has such good smiles. God, what an attractive room of people. Vanilla Gaming. Dang, his adopted dad gave him his jawline? Yes. Alright, that's how it works in the anime <laughs> universe. <sighs> Fuck me, this daddy lore. Hey, where do you think Athena gets her good looks from? Daddy Nick. <laughs> Should the kingdom of Kurain claim ownership, the matter may have to be deliberated in court all over again. Uh-oh. Is that what's about to happen? I just hope, or shall I pray, that I am not the judge presiding over that. <laughs> Indeed. A trial like that might spark an international incident! Oh no. Still, there are bigger and more ma ma momentous things are a stir in the air, son. The revolution. Dirk's really serious about this. This court is a joke. Alright boys, we did it! Now how do we get Maya back? <laughs> I guess that's our I guess that's our next uh prerogative here. May 17th, District Court, Defendant Lobby number three. Let's see if we discuss that at all. Nice work, son! We've finally broken through the last obstacle on the road to revolution! A revolution? It just doesn't seem real. <laughs> yes, well, to think you actually defeated the fighting Phoenix! All I can say is, that's my boy! Ha ha ha! Well, Mr. Wright did have his hands tied. Who knows if I'd have won if he'd been able to fight me head on. I see 
it more like you saved Mr. Wright. Saved him? Yeah, remember what he said? He didn't have to bend the truth anymore, and it was all thanks to you. I don't know about that. Still, I guess it is kind of nice to be appreciated. Um, Mr. Dirk? Now that the Holy Mother's face has been revealed, are you gonna have a spirit medium try channeling her? I, for one, would love to see the return of the legendary founder. Yeah, just think about it. Being able to speak to someone right out of the history books. It's a cool talent. Unfortunately, it's not that easy. What? Why? A face isn't enough, son. You also need the true name of the one you're attempting to channel. Oh, right. Pearl mentioned something to that effect. And the founder's true name is only known to the priestess who's been crowned queen. In short, the only living person who knows it's the current it, it who knows it right now is the queen of Kurain, Garan. Oh. So we do need the queen to channel the founder. Well, I wonder if we can get on her good side without pissing off her husband. Let's focus on getting Maya back first. That's no fun. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, Founder's Orb updated in the court record. Uh, only the queen knows the Founder's real name. Well, maybe we can trick, um, what's her face? The princess, Raytha, into tricking her mom into revealing the name. I don't know, there's strategies there. So Dirk, what are you gonna do now? Well, first, I'll start by tracing the route by which the orb came into Dr. Buff's hands. Right, since we know it was politician that asked the doctor to study it, isn't he the one that stole it? No, a political nobody like him couldn't get anywhere near the orb, let alone steal it, son. He must have had inside help. My money is on someone connected to the royal family. Justice Minister Inga, perhaps? Oh, right. You said something to that effect back in the cave. And whoever it may be, we need to expose their dirty scheme to the light of day. Right. I'm sure Mr. Wright has plenty of information courtesy of his dirty client. He might be able to shed some light on this. Hey, Daddy Nick, can you come to us? Private justice. Oh. That was a fine work you did in the trial today. Your sergeant was proud. Back at you, Sarge. It took real courage to leave your room like that. Ah! It is all thanks to you and Corpse Woman Sights. With my siege defense over, I can finally sally forth. But the battle says only just begun. One more for me and way alone to fight. To lose your mother and then your father. What a terrible thing to endure. Yeah, and being wheelchair bound doesn't help. All right, you may stop shitting on me, the both of you. Private justice. I have been thinking. It is about time I stood on my own two feet. Um, is that how that works? After all, I no longer have Papa to cuddle me. Yeah, I don't follow. I don't know if you're allowed to just, like, choose that. Uh, take a good look, soldier. This is one st small step for man, and a giant leap for me. Hold my drone for me, Private Justice. Oh, y y yes, sir. What is she up to? D are we gonna get an animation of her walking? <gasps> oh my god, physical therapy could never. Well. She was faking it! Throw her in the slammer! <laughs> she, 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 she can walk? Whoa. What's this, Sarge? You mean your legs? There. The doctor told me I was ready to walk again months ago. But if I admitted I could walk, I know I'd have to leave the house. Wouldn't the doctor... I mean, since you're 12, wouldn't the doctor have automatically divulged that information of your legs being good to your parental guardian? Or is that like a Japanifornia exclusive? I don't know. So, I faked it. Oh, sweetie, that's playing with fire. Listen, there was a streamer on YouTube once who faked being in a wheelchair, and he... 
<laughs> he really stepped in it bad and pissed off a lot of people. To be fair, though, I think that he was also, like, accepting charitable donations and, like, milking people's sympathy for a fake condition that he didn't have. <laughs> Makes sense, but... I kept pretending I couldn't walk. But I know Papa is watching over me now, and I'd hate to disappoint him. So, from this day forth, I am going to march forward on my own two feet. Damn, what a brave kid. Trying to move forward like this. It's gotta be so hard this soon after her father's death. Don't you ever stop. You just keep an eye on walking, comrade. Stay brave, because there will be days when you want to stop. But I have faith you'll find your way to muster the strength to push through them. Yeah, you can do it. Hey, Daddy's back. Hi, Daddy Nick. All right, no long faces. We got to strategize. We got our whole Scooby gang here right now. All of us, all of our brains, let's figure out how to find Maya. Mr. Wright, what's that look on his face for? Oh, Apollo. Is everything all right with Miss Faye? She's safe, for now. Well then, we better go save her, quick! Where is she anyway? Is she here or is she in Kurain? I'm afraid I have some bad news. What's that? Maya's not here in the state of Japanifornia. Oh no. She's still in Kurain. And she's still being held hostage by the mastermind behind this whole thing. Whew. The mastermind? That's right. Politician Wimperson was nothing more than a pawn. Maya's true abductor is in the kingdom of Kurain. Well, let's hop on a fucking plane then and go get her back! I don't understand, Mr. Wright. What in the world is going on over there? Guess is as good as mine. But, as shocking as that news was, it was only the beginning. The beginning of something big. Big enough to shake Kurain to its very core. Revolution. I was being swept up in a mighty wave that nothing could stop. Of course, at the time. I had no idea what the days ahead had in store for us. To be continued, boys! Oh, man, it, it sounds like we're going to be going back to Kurain. Hopefully, we're taking the whole team with us this time. I would love to get Apollo and Athena back out to Kurain. And hopefully, we will uh, figure out where Maya is. So, let's save our game. Turnabout Revolution, Trial Day 1. Investigation Day 2. Interesting. So, Investigation Day 2, I guess that's going to be happening... Tomorrow at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Also, possibly, depending on if I'm home or not at the time, because I don't know for a fact if I will be, but if I am home tomorrow, um, I do want to potentially stream earlier today, because or earlier tomorrow, because there's a Nintendo Direct tomorrow. I might watch that. Well, I mean, I'm going to watch the Nintendo Direct. If I happen to be home at the time that it's starting... I might hop on stream and watch the Direct live here. Uh, don't hold me to that. So if that is the case, uh, you guys can feel free to watch along with me. We can look at some good old Nintendo news together. And then, if not, tomorrow at 7 o'clock Eastern Time, uh, I will be going into our next investigation segment, I guess. It should be good. I am happy to hear that the stream behaved well and clear today. Hopefully, we can keep that energy going forward. Uh, it, it is nice that we didn't have problems so far since my little phone call on the telly with uh, T-Mobile where I was freaking out yesterday. <laughs> so so we'll see how long that lasts for us. Um, and that's going to be it for now, all right? If you guys could please leave a like on the stream. The engagement is super helpful, and I will see you in the next one. Toodles, boys!